What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Primer ready to deliver you our week number eight, or no, nine team builder here in JLPC season six. This week we are taking on Mr. Marshadow and the Moss Deep Metagrosses. Moss Deep Metagross. Uh, his team is nasty. Very nasty. Definitely going to be a difficult one to deal with. This team consists of Zera Aura, Conkelder, Flygon, Registeel, Tangela, Spiritum, Slowbro, Rebombi, Scolipede, and Magmortar. So of the threats on this team, obviously things like Zera Aura stand out because we don't really have a lot of things to deal with Zera Aura great. We have things that can kind of switch into it and deal with it, but they're not perfect situations. Um... Conkelder is always scare, scary. It just hits so ridiculously hard. Um, Flygon, if it sets up a Dragon Dance, is going to be a problem. Um, things like Registeel and Tangela are really hard to break through, especially Slowbro. He's got that regen core with Tangela Slowbro, which is going to be a major issue. We won a league many years ago having a similar regen core with Tangrowth and Slowbro, so... It's, uh, it's got, that's going to be problematic to break through for sure. Uh, his access to Sticky Webs of Rebombi. Uh, plenty of hazard options with Scolipede as well. Um, he could pretty much get almost every, every, any hazard up on the field against us, which is going to be a major issue. So uh, definitely taking care of hazard removal is going to be huge in this one. There's a lot of mods on this team that can just kind of set up and sweep us, so it's going to be a really, really tough match to try to be careful of, like, avoiding all of those scenarios, so hopefully we'll be able to do well. Uh, it's going to be a tough one, but we, we can do it. Um, now, first mod we're going to be bringing, I had to bring immediately, uh, was uh, Budweiser the Muddale, because Zara Aura is right there. Um... We are packing max HP, 72 defense, 184 spadef. I'll be completely honest, I do not remember if there was a specific reason for the spadef investment. I believe... I believe that allows us to take two grass knots, like Rindo grass knot into um, another grass knot from Zare Aura. Which I think is going to be important in this game because this thing has to be our main switch into Zero Aura. Um, all the time, it's going to have to be one of our main switch ins. We have two. This is going to be the primary uh, because if we lose this thing, then Zero Aura just gets the kind of plasma fist over our team, and even the things that resist it don't appreciate it. So. We have that going for us. We have Earthquake because it's Stab. It will blow back the Zero Aura, and it does a really good amount of damage to a lot of members of the team. They're the opposing team. Um, Toxic is there because I see things like Flygon and Tangela trying to be the switch into this thing, and getting Toxics on those will be very important, uh, especially getting a Toxic on like the Slowbro as well. Cleric support-wise, I don't know if he has a Cleric. I can't... I don't remember if Rebombi gets has cleric potential or not, but um, but aside from that, um, just being able to get toxics on those things are going to be very important for the game. Uh, I have protect as well to be a little scummy, because I, I have no qualms against that. And then counter is just kind of like... Counter is just going to be for those instances where I think I can get something out of it. I'll try to, try to scout against some mons and see what they're trying to do. Um... You know, U-turn on something like Flygon could be used as like a counter thing to go into something else. As he's going into something else, could maybe like if if Conkelder is getting to be a problem, get a counter off against that thing and blow it back. Just something along those lines. I'm sure there's going to be instances where counter will come into play. I just really couldn't. I didn't, couldn't think of any other move I wanted to run. It. I kind of debated like Rock Slide or something like that to hit Rabombi a little harder, but it just didn't really seem worth it. So, we will see how this plays out. Uh, it's going to be interesting. But uh, I think it could be useful. I think Earthquake overall, Earthquake Toxic Protect is, is perfectly fine as a combination for this week. Next up, we have Pennywise the Blacephalon. And this thing is just designed to murder. This thing is brought for murder this week. Um, 
Look at his team and tell me what his ghost resist is. I'll give you uh, I'll give you a hint. He doesn't have one. No ghost resists. At all. So we're running spec shadow ball. And we're just gonna click spec shadow ball anytime this thing hits the field. And something's probably going to die. Um we do have the option to click Specs Flamethrower. Uh, things like Spadef, Registeel can still tank a Spec Shadow Ball. So Flamethrower is also an option to potentially nuke through those things. Uh, but locking into Flamethrower obviously opens the door for things like Flygon, Meg Mortar, uh, and Slowbro to come in and uh, slow things down a little bit. We do have the Mind Blown as an option. Uh, if uh, you know, if things get a little bit sketchy, uh, if I feel like something might live the hit, I can always go for the mind blown and catch it on the switching, and it's not living that. And psychic is there, I guess, just in case of like AV, Conkelder, uh, kind of, just in case he has that kind of set with him. But uh, realistically, Spec Shadow Ball is all I need to click in this game. That's literally it. I can just click Shadow Ball whenever this thing touches the field, and I can more than likely claim a kill on something. That is the scenario we're in, and it's a scenario that I am I'm very much excited about. So we're gonna we're gonna see if that gonna work. That that'll work out in our favor. Um, yeah, Blacephalon's awesome. I love Blacephalon so much. Uh, next up, we have Shortcake the Tapu Lele with uh, Substitute, Moonblast, Focus Blast, and Psychic. We have enough speed to outpace... What is that speed? Does that make Mortar? Yeah, that's probably Meg Mortar, because Meg Mortar is base 83. 85 hits, 90, 295? Yeah. That should be that should be Meg Mortar. Max be Meg Mortar. A uh, couple things we could probably sub on. Uh, things like Slowbro. Tangela, most likely. Registeel is going to be kind of up in the air, but I doubt it. Um, Spirit Tomb is kind of likely, but kind of not likely. Really depends on no. He could probably have infiltrators, and we're not we're gonna waste the time with that. Um, can maybe sub on Ken Kelder if we can force it out, which I think we could, because it won't be able to hit us with anything priority wise, and it will probably die to one hit. Basically, the goal with this thing. Is to try to force uh, switches as much as possible, and um, from there get a sub up. And whatever comes in, we can deal with it appropriately. Like Moonblast is really, really spammable against his team. Nukes things like the Flygon and Spirit Tomb. Conkelder takes a shit ton. Um, Psychic also can be spammable as well. Helps with the Scolipede and the also nukes the Conkelder. Uh, then we have Focus Blast. Focus Blast is there because it allows us to hit the Registeel at least, um, which is important. We at least have something to hit that thing. But basically, this thing is just set up sub and nuke whatever comes in. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to do that. I definitely think that there's a lot of potential for it to happen. So we're just going to be careful with how we play Lele, but I think Lele can really put in a lot of work for us in this one. Uh, it's definitely going to be a fun matchup, to say the very least. Uh, I'm super excited to see what Lele can do. And there's that we have Diadopt Kelp, the Dragalgy, with the Shookaberry, Adaptability, Sludge Wave, Draco Meteor, Dragon Pulse, and Flip Turn. We are running a decent chunk of speed this week. This is to allow us to outpace a Min Speed Tangela. I believe that is for Min Speed Tangela. Yes, it is. It's base 60s. Base 60s hit 156. Um, and under. So anything that not speed invested under Tangela's speed, uh, we will outpace that. 
uh, which is about half his team, which is nice. Um, Sludge Wave. Uh, this set is walled by Registeel, which is why we have the flip turn, because if Registeel comes in on this thing, we just flip turn out and go into something uh, like Pennywise that can deal with it. Um, simple enough strategy like that. Um, Sludge Wave, Nukes, Tangela, and anything that doesn't resist it on this team. Draco Meteor does the same. It fucking tear, tears through his team a lot. <laughs> it It's really, really strong. It's really, really strong. <laughs> this mod is so strong. Uh, Sugarberry is important because it 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 can it, it has a lot of different mods it can be used against. Uh, it can be used against Earthquake for Scolipede, uh, so we can nuke it with a Dragon Mate. Draco Meteor uh, works well against Earthquake from Conkeldur because a lot of which granted it'll probably just use Ice Punch, but even still, uh, Earthquake from Flygon, which allows us to O coat with Dragon Pulse. A uh, lot of mons we can gain get some usage out of this with. So, uh, basically, we we guarantee an Oko on something with the Shikaberry being there, uh, which is nice. So, Dragology is going to put in some work here for sure. Uh, I'm excited. I love Dragology. And hopefully it'll actually be able to put in some work this week. Next up we have Gene the Lickitung with the Eviolite. Oblivious, the ability of course. Um... Physically defensive, but we threw four into speed. The reason we put four into speed is because we wanted to outpace um, Slowbro. Uh, because I don't see it running any speed investment. I just wanted to be faster than the Slowbro so I can knock it off uh, safely. I figured that would be a fun thing to do. So we're going to do it. Um, Blizzard is going to be fun because it allows us to just... Like, we tank any hit from a plus one Flygon, and it kind of makes it... And we can Oko it with Blizzard, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, I think, like, the four investment guarantees the Oko, which is fun. But, uh... Also does a decent chunk to Tangela as well. We can get rid of its Eviolite. Blizzard still does a decent chunk to it. And knockoffs are just always good to have. Uh, Wish and Heal Bell are going to be important, too. In this one, because you know, with the, the regen core and whatnot, they're probably gonna be spreading status, and it's gonna be a very, very like defensive, status heavy game. So, I'm sure that we're gonna need uh, as much healing as possible. Last but not least, we have New Balance the Rotom Mo holding the leftovers, fully physically defensive Rotom. Um, Uh, Volt Switch, Leaf Storm, Pain Split, and Will-O-Wisp. Um, full physically defensive, kind of helps us with Zero Aura a little bit. Uh, can tank, can at least tank one hit from Conkeldur and things like Registeel. Obviously, we chew hits from all day. Um, we can pretty much ignore Tangela a lot. Uh, we can pretty much ignore Slowbro for the most part. Uh, Slowbro does not appreciate Rotom Mo even existing in the game um, because Leaf Storm will just nuke its way through it. Um, Volt Switch is fairly free, except for like potential for Flygon, which Flygon doesn't appreciate a Leaf Storm, but also wouldn't appreciate a Will O Wisp if we could land it on it. So um, this spawn just kind of puts in a lot of work against his team. It's a really good defensive backbone for this matchup, because um, frankly, a lot of mods on his team like we just needed a really solid defensive backbone, and Rotom Mo provides that for sure. Um, between Budweiser and Rotom Mo, uh, we needed to make sure that Zeraora could not just spam Plasma Fists and wreck our entire team. So we have done that. So thankfully, uh, we don't have to worry about it too much. Yay! Oh, big stretch. But um, I think that's going to be it for this team builder. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not already. But... Until next time, I am Pokey Primer, and I am signing off. Peace.